Wait, you see that car? What car is that? Um, Chrysler. Pretty good. In the new 
newsreels, the two of them seem to appear always together, like Abbott and Costello. The little car is a Crosley. It was designed to save gas, of all unlikely things, and didn't catch on. We've done a lot together, we've had our ups and downs, but now I'm here and glad that you're the king of all the clowns. Boss lady, would you be interested in a out-of-work elephant washer? I could learn to be interested. told me that you'd be the man to speak to about this fascinating... There's a, a peculiar fragrance in the air around here, isn't there? Yeah, well, it's not me, lady. <laughs> not the Summer's Produce House over there. They raise chicken. Sometimes the live ones smell a little worse than the dead ones. Well, um, would you mind if I asked you a few questions about the town? Perhaps you could uh, just fill me in on the... Uh, the history of the train, something is Sure, sure. Looks a little bit like a prehistoric monster. Yeah, it's just about as useful, too. Uh, put the paint job on it, and about a month later, the uh, city council decided they wanted to get all the water over in McCallum. from 
Thomas, Gerard. Oh, Texas, huh? <laughs> Deep in the heart of. I suppose you find New York quite a bit different. Well, not very. In Texas, it's the coyotes that howl here. It's wolves. Well, you can't really blame them, you know. Waving red hair in front of a wolf is dangerous business. in destiny having anything to do with anything, do you? Certainly not. I believe things happen because you take them by the horn. Why? Oh, nothing. Well, I'll be done. You know, it's the first time I've been in Stukov's restaurant for over a year. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's certainly a filthy place. Yeah, but today of all days, <laughs> I'll be done. What are you talking about? To tell the truth, I'm not clear about it myself, but it gives me a wonderful feeling of irresponsibility. What do you mean? Well, I can't help you. You're not my fault at all, you see. No, I don't. Well, I mean, you've just got to relax and let it happen. Let what? I think I remember a service station about half a mile up the road. You want to wait here? No. See, I thought all rich people had spare tires. Well, if I had a rubber band, I could retread it myself. <laughs> Come on, a walk will do us good. You know what? I feel like a squaw walking behind you like this. You do? <laughs> you do? Oh, I don't suppose you have any Indians in New York. As a matter of fact, I have a very good friend who's an Indian. For goodness sake, you have. He knows you, too. Me? You know what he said? What? He said you're going to give me heap big pleasure. He said what? Well, not exactly the way it sounds. You see, he doesn't speak English very well, and besides that, he's, uh, he's dead. Oh, well, that must be fun, running around with a dead Indian. Uh, he's wonderful, as a matter of fact. I keep him in a lamp. Every time I want something, I just rub him. Oh, how handy. Oh, very. He's my genie with the long black hair. <laughs> you don't have a date to anybody else tonight, do you, Tony? Oh, no. Oh, yes. Huh? Well, I haven't got a date exactly, but I can't go out night. I have to read to my old aunt every night. At least every night for a week or so. Can't she read for herself? Well, you know, it's a funny thing. She can read for other people, but not for herself. Yes, that is funny. Isn't it? No, no, I think I'd better take you home. It's getting pretty late. All right. Where do you live? Oh, uh, you don't need to take me home. I can take a taxi just as well. Oh, don't be silly. Where do you live? Well, for goodness sake, I didn't realize that I live right here. Right here? There. Well, uh, goodbye, Mr. Cavanaugh. Oh, I'll go in with you. Well, yes. Really? I'm sure I couldn't tell you. She didn't come to open up a door tonight. Well, I've got a locator. You see, I, uh, I can do a bit of palmistry if that'll help you. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want it for that reason. Oh, well, in that case, I couldn't help you. I see you. Thank you. You know where she lives, do you? I said, you know where she lives? Oh, oh, well, she kind of divides the time between the spirit world and downtown, you see. She might be just any place. But listen, if I... If she were to pop out of your back pocket, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. She gets around quite a lot that way. I see you. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Fortune-teller wasn't here. She isn't. Then how'd she write a message all over my windshield? How do you know she did? Well, on account of something. Oh, well, perhaps one of her spirits broke loose. Oh.
Connecticut. I know. And Barber. Very good. There's Claire. Claire. Oh, hello, Claire. Hello, boys. How are you? What are you doing down here at the old Jane? Slumming? You're not coming back to work, are you? You're still in pictures. I'm just taking Ruthie to lunch and rehearsal. One and getting sunburned isn't everything. Oh, right. We've got to get going. Come on. Bye. See you later, Claire. And drive careful. Yeah, I'll only drive through the safety zones. I'm here to finish my doctorate in Oregon State. Jody, Tommy, hurry up, you'll be late. Breakfast, well, okay, okay. Come okay. no, on, okay. girls, let's eat. <laughs> I think so. No, <laughs> moose and bear. Yes, I'll, I'll tell you. Thank you very much for calling. Okay, goodbye. Oh. Hello. Yes, she's very happy to be on the team. Go change your blouse. I don't think so. I want to wear this one. You can't wear a buttered blouse to school. Go track fly. I don't care. Gidget. No, no, she can't. She has practice every afternoon. No, at evening time, she has to do a homework. Yes, I will. I appreciate your calling. Thank you. Goodbye. Just about out of time. Before we go, you take a look at our viewers' truck of the week. From Roswell, New Mexico, this truck belongs to Michael Cart. This is Mike's 1951 Crosley pickup. Only about 350 of these trucks were built total. 
so you can bet there are not too many around today. It took Mike six years of restoration work using only original parts, including the radio, heater, signal switch, and hubcaps. And Mike, that's a different looking truck. We appreciate it. We'll be sending you a truck and USA t-shirt right away. Unfortunately, it's time to bid a fond aloha to Hawaii. that your mom is a drama teacher? Look, just because you don't mind running around looking like a jerk, my mother thinks I shouldn't mind either. He works in... <laughs> At least he's consistent. <laughs> That's kidding. I think he needs some more. I think he does. <laughs> All right, then we're going to take the detour. You ask me why. The minute you hear the word graveyard... I get hot. Yeah, but I mean really hot. Be convincing, because these guys will be looking for a trap. I mean, you even got to convince me. I've been around. Lover, I will be convincing. Oh, I want these guys so... They'll do anything for it. Anything. So, uh, Gloria, have you read any good books lately? I've read my gun is quick. Do you know that one? No, and he lives in. <laughs> really? Are you a private eye? No, oh, he's a private dick. But not by choice. Okay, turn up. I never read that one, mate. Me neither. I don't think we have it in the library yet. <laughs> so, Gloria, how come we've never seen you at the library before? Well, she works out hours. Uh. Midnight till three. Oh, that reminds me. I promised my mother I'd stop by the cemetery and put some flowers in my granddad's grave. Oh, the graveyard? Oh, Pee-wee. Oh, oh, Pee-wee. Oh! Okay, where are the red men? These boys are over there like that. So me, where's Steve? Right there, buddy. I think we ought to just nail him in his coffin and leave him overnight. <laughs> oh, shit. Listen, listen, listen. I'm just going to go back there and I'm going to check. Oh, she's hot, man. She is really That's hot. That's what you said, Pee-wee. Yeah, but she's really hot, oh, Timmy. Pee-wee, I'm getting hot. I want all you guys, but especially you. Then go get her, Pee-wee. Be realistic when you die. Oh, don't worry, sugar. It's too easy, Bill. <laughs> Ah, well. Bye-bye, <laughs> be with See you later. Bye, bye. Just kids. Yeah. Fabulous. My car filled with your beer buddies going up to empty my parents' liquor cabinet. Oh. <sighs> Is this really what you're going to do for the rest of your life? Well, what do you mean? I mean, hanging around with a bunch of animals, getting drunk every weekend. No. Ah, we 
Where'd he get the wheels? From his brother. Yeah? Hey, look! They talked the bar! Ah, thanks. I needed that. And he wants it back! Where'd you go? He wants it back by Sunday! <laughs> Two brushes? To as many people as have teeth. Quick, you see that car? What car is that? Um, Crosley. The one over there on the right? Um, Nash. Pretty good. Anybody behind us? No, everything is clear. Come on, let's get out of here. What's the idea of bumping into me? Can't you see where you're going? Are you blind? I hit you, didn't I? Oh, a fresh guy. <laughs> you. Yes. 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 Yes.